We're at a horse farm just into the polygon right now. The guy who's gonna take us to the atomic lake in the crater of a nuclear bomb explosion is about to slaughter a sheep for us, I think. <laughs> Мои родители здесь жили. После них мы купили эту землю. Are you scared that there's radiation here? Мы? Нет. Мы знаем, но не боимся. А, а, а что бояться-то? Когда я поехал служить в армию, тогда спрашивают, откуда мы из Казахстана? Откуда с Казахстана? Семипалатинска. Им дико было. На нас так смотрели. Вот. Сам не знал вот здесь. Здесь все запретная зона был, Не пускали нас. Лишний раз спросишь. Скажешь, ты шпион, ты пасешь свою баранов, работаешь, работай, это секретный. That little outcropping is the crater in which uh, atomic crater lake is is situated. It's kind of like anything you could ever hope an atomic crater would look like. It's awesome, and awesome in the like horrible sense. So I'm changing out of boat shoes into. Hiking boots because radiation stores itself mostly in the soil. Other prophylactic measures we're taking are uh, vitamins, uh, Geiger counter, so we know if uh, we're getting into a danger zone. This stuff I can't pronounce, which is apparently antler blood they squeeze out. That's just good for your entire body, so it has to be good against radiation. And then the um, the key preventative measure that, uh, or the traditional one, is uh, vodka, which the guys at Chernobyl drank. Um, the smart doctors at Hiroshima and Nagasaki drank. And the thinking being that it uh, thins the blood and gives it less platelets, basically, to infect with radiation. Это при Советском Союзе строили эту. Помню вот маленькие лет я здесь родился, я здесь вырос. Я помню эту. Раньше вот манажер Берни не был он был, стойка была, нормальная стойка. Потом, когда развал был в Советском Союзе, тогда развалили его. So we just crossed like a 20 meter bridge. Now the needle is going past 3,000, 4,000. We're, we're four times what we were back in town, and it just hit five. That's amazing. Осторожно. Yeah. Be careful indeed. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking John Woo flock of doves just came out of there. So the bomb that made the chicken crater, um, it's actually in the later part of the testing. It was in the early 60s. And they've switched from testing them as weapons to trying to use them as giant earth movers. The US did this too in Nevada area. And this was actually the point of setting off the nukes at that point, was to make lakes and things like that and canals. I think it's kind of uh, shows you the sort of desperation of the nuclear programs to cling to relevance as people got increasingly freaked out by them. Oh my God, that's creepy. Huh. Is that horse shit? So we just looked down at the Geiger counter and uh, realized the needle was all the way to the right. So I've set it to uh, 100 times the power. It's still spiking something awful. So the further down we go, the higher this needle's going. We're already 10 times what we were at the horses, just being at the lip of that crater. And now in the course of like 20 steps, we've tripled that. So this is it. This is where a nuclear bomb went off and is now a lake that schmucks such as us can ask a farmer to come take us to. There were 1.6 million Kazakhs living here and they, uh, in other Soviet terms, 1.6 million, you know, kind of shepherds and goat people who don't necessarily have to be told about the testing or evacuated or given proper medical care after the fact. And the lasting impact isn't just big holes like this or a weird polluted polygon. 
It's uh, the permanent modification of the human genome. 